Hey guys, I'm Longo from Red Moto. Today we're gonna to do an install on a 2011 BMW 3 Series uh, driver's side fender. So start off with, we're gonna pop the hood and we're gonna tape off the edges so we don't uh, cause any damage to the adjacent panels. Alright, so the next step we're gonna remove the wheel. So before you actually jack it up, you wanna loosen up the wheels. Alright, once uh, the car is jacked up, go ahead and take off the lug nuts. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take off these push pins right here on the side. And there's like little holes right here that you kind of insert something in there so you can take off the, uh, like right here is kind of tight. There we go. Now you can use either a flathead screwdriver on each side to take it off. Or you get one of these tools. Let's start off over here. The kind of these pushpins are kind of like one time use only. So I would highly recommend getting a new one when doing an install. That one's off. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, the reason why we took off the wheel itself is because we gotta get through these bolts right here underneath the fender liner. So we'll start from right to left. All right, so take off this one right here. It's gonna be an eight millimeter. Then one on top right here. Then right here, it's gonna be a 10 millimeter. And let's see if that's, we got two more right here. That's all. Okay, there's one more right at the bottom right here. Let's go check that out. So this one's gonna be a uh, special little tool. Let me go get that for you guys. All right, so it's gonna be one of these tools right here. It looks like a little star. I believe they call it Torx bits, but you're gonna get the number. Let's see what number this is. Oh, this one doesn't have a number. Oh, well, any regards. Go ahead and take it off with this one right here. Uh, 
that's one more right here. Another bolt we have to take off. This is gonna be a 10 millimeter. So we just loosen that up like that. So we don't, we don't need to completely take it off because all we're gonna do is get a bolt over here on this side. We're just gonna push it to the side. All right, so I'm gonna take this cover off right here. So just get something uh, flat to rotate it. Basically, you gotta line it up with this line right here. So we're gonna take this fender liner off by taking off this bolt right here. Be a couple more bolts right here on this side. Be a 10. You gotta just look for all these bolts, they're everywhere. I you can move the fender liner. Just push it to the side. Now all you gotta do you gotta get to these bolts right here. So that should loosen up your bumper right there. So the next step would be to pull this to the side, like that. Now if you guys look in here, right inside the fender, there's going to be a bolt right here. A bolt all the way in the back. And then another one right on top over there, I believe. Let me see. Nope, actually that's it. Those two right there. And then we're going to go ahead and take off this uh, plug. If you guys can see right here. That's gonna be your plug for your uh, turn signal. I mean your, yeah, your turn signal. Just unplug it. All right. All right, so we're gonna take off this bolt right here. It's gonna be a 10 millimeter. When it's kind of loose, I'd like to just take it off with my fingers. You're gonna need an extension for this one, a long one. It's because you gotta get to that uh, bolt back there. And again, that's gonna be a 10 millimeter. You guys come to this side, you'll see there's this bolt right here. And then we're gonna remove the bolts on the top. So it's gonna be a bolt right here. 
a bolt down here, a bolt right here, and a bolt right here. All right, so to remove this bolt right here, try to get a little smaller uh, socket. And this one right here, you can get a longer socket. I'm gonna put this to the side like this. Take this off. Put this up cut right here. And take that off. All right. So if I'm right on this, this fender should just come right off right now. Oh, you know what? I'm not right on this one. There's another bolt right here. That we need to take off. So again, that's just like a rule of thumb. If the fender is not coming off easily, then double check if there's any more bolts because you don't want to force it off, you might break something. So we'll take that right off. One more pull. My goodness. It's gonna be right here. It's gonna be another 10. And these BMW fenders are putting bolts everywhere. Let me just double check before I say that's the final one. That should be the final one. guys so again that wasn't the final bolt jesus it's bmws we gotta complain we got so many bolts so we got one more bolt right here all right guys one more thing to do it's right here underneath the fender and there's these like plastic rivets looking things and it's a screw you just kind of unscrew it just like that from what i looked at there's supposed to be two of them be one right here put that off first There should have been another one right here. Like right here. But it's not there. Same exact one, but it should be right here. So you just take that one off too. So now, finally, we can take off the fender. There you go. So now we're just gonna go ahead and remove all the accessories off of it and transfer it to the new fender. All right guys, so we got the new fender right here. We got the old fender right here. We're gonna transfer all the accessories back onto this new fender. So first we're gonna flip the new fender upside down. So make sure uh, whenever you guys do work on new panels like this, freshly painted, make sure you got it, you put it on a uh, soft 
or a cloth kind of a tabletop so it doesn't scratch the paint. So first thing we're gonna do is take off the, uh, the signal light. The first thing is uh, you're gonna press down right here. One. So you insert it first like that. Then you push up on this. There you go. Push down on it. So push down it softly. You don't push down too much on it because you might bend the fender. But support the back of it with your other hand and then kind of press down on it. And it should click right into place. So the next one's gonna be this clip right here. Take that off. I like to take things one at a time off and then put it back in the same place so I remember. One right here. Then you have this rubber stopper right here. And I believe that's everything on this fender. Now we can go ahead and install the fender. Let me just give you guys a uh, little summary of what, we, what I did. So basically, I made sure the bottom piece is on top of this bracket. And then right here. You gotta make sure the fender sits in between this bracket and this bracket so it's right in between that and then the fender itself should be right here okay and the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put that little i can find it oh, remember that little push pin that looks like it uh, has a screw on it. I'm gonna put that in first. Right there. And on this one, you can just push it up. Just like that. Should be another one right here, but the customer didn't have it. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, install it. So the next step is I'm gonna go ahead and put the bolts on top. You're gonna notice I'm not gonna tighten it up. I'm just gonna put the bolts in there so the fender doesn't fall down. All right, so now the fender's not gonna fall down on us. Before we forget, we're gonna go ahead and uh, plug up that uh, sensor right there. All right. There we go. So before we do anything else, we're gonna look for the uh, clip mitt. So right there. The gap looks just like the other one on the other side. I'm gonna put the hood down a little bit. See how that gap looks.
All right, so this line right here, take a look at that. That line looks good right there. And then the gap right here looks great too. So I'm just gonna double check that gap is the same over there. All right, so we're in business. Let's go ahead and uh, put the bolts in the back. All right, guys, so I'm gonna put the long bolt in first. Get that extension. Go ahead and get that bolt right here. First, I'm gonna hand tighten it so it's a lot easier for me to. So now we're going to put the bolts in here. First thing is going to be this one to the bumper. Alright, since we put this bolt right here, then right back here is another bolt that we're going to put in. Tying that up right here. All right, so we're gonna put another bolt right there. That's gonna be a 10. One right there, the other one's back here. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and put the fender liners back on. They might just go in like this. <laughs> yeah, so this one's bent in a little bit. What I'm gonna do later on, I'm gonna heat this up and hopefully it comes back in. But we're gonna go ahead and screw it all back in into place first of all. So we're gonna put a screw right there. Basically what we're doing is putting back all the screws just like how we found them. 10 millimeter right here. Now 
And alongside the fender, there's gonna be screws all alongside that. And we're gonna put this cover back on so don't we don't forget. So like that. There we go. Then we're gonna go to this other side and put those fender fender screws on. All right guys, so now we're gonna screw this, the bottom pieces back into place. So we'll start with this one. Well first, sorry about that. I screw that on. But right, and uh, clip that back into place. Now we should be able to Okay, all right. Now that we got that bolt in there, I'm gonna put this bolt in there. The hard part is this one because it's not aligned correctly. So I'm gonna heat this up and hopefully it pushes the back. So give me one second. All right, so last thing to do, let's go ahead and put these like little push pins back into place. Right, so you put this like little rod back into place right here. Put this back into place right here. Just like that. Put this right back into place right here. Then on this bottom piece right here, these little rivets, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get new ones at the dealership. But for the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and install the uh, the tire back on and wrap this video up.
All right, guys, so one last thing we're gonna do is a final check on the alignment. So look at, it, look at the top side, look at the sides. The bumper side, it looks all good to me. So after that. All right, guys, that's how you install a 2011 driver's side fender for a BMW 3 Series. The last thing we're gonna do is gonna give this car a complete wash, a little bit of polish, so it can color match that driver's side fender. But uh, for the most part, if you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe to us, turn on that push notification, hit that like button, and also if you guys need any parts for your vehicle, go, go to our website, www.revmoto.com for any prepaid auto body parts. Thank you.